They may have traveled all of space and time, but they still find ways to surprise us. I need you to pull up some files, Gideon. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 surprising roles by Doctor Who actors. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're counting down the best and most unexpected acting roles for anyone who has starred in Doctor Who. We're only ranking actors who have appeared since the 2005 series reboot, and only those with main recurring roles. Let's save the likes of Jane Erso for another list. Number 10, Catherine Tate as Nan, The Catherine Tate Show. Now don't you lie to me, son. May I never move. You sat there and you said, her husband looks like Charles Manson. We start with one of this countdown's most famous faces, but a surprising role nonetheless. I just want a mate. You just want to mate? I just want a mate. <gasps> You're not mating with me, sunshine. If you only know Catherine Tate as Donna Noble, David Tennant's straight-talking but well-meaning final companion, then Joni Nan Taylor may come as quite the shock. You all right? No, I'm not. I'm f***ing raving. <laughs> Before DW, Tate was known for The Catherine Tate Show, a comedy sketch show featuring a range of outlandish characters, with Nan as one of the regulars. An elderly woman always on the edge of rage, she's an endless supply of unmentionable expletives and unbridled intolerance. You seen it? She looks like an elephant walking along the street. <gasps> Great big fat ass hanging on her. God knows how she'd react if she ever had to travel through time. Come on! I ain't never seen such ugly charm. Number 9, Bernard Cribbins as the narrator. The Wombles. Good heavens above. A football. <laughs> Oh, that takes me back. 40 years after starring alongside Peter Cushing in a 1966 Doctor Who feature film, Daleks Invasion Earth 2150 AD, Bernard Cribbins was reintroduced into the Who universe as Donna Noble's grandfather, Wilfred Mott. I'm Wilfred Mott? No, people have waited hundreds of years to find me and then you manage it in a couple of hours. Well, I'm just lucky, I suppose. In the intervening time, Cribbins led a celebrated acting career, but if you grew up in the 70s, he'll forever be immortalized as the voice of the Wombles. This is the home of the Wombles. Cribbins narrated both series of the classic kids TV show, guiding audiences through the environmentally friendly adventures of Uncle Bulgaria, Orinoco, Tomsk, Bungo, Madame Cholette, and everyone else on Wimbledon Common. And I, I shall be captain. Number eight, Matt Lucas as Mr. Toad. The Wind in the Willows. Life on the open road, with mole and rats and toad. The gentle pace befits the place, as the ancients know. This TV adaptation of Kenneth Graham's cherished children's tale didn't impress all critics, but Matt Lucas's turn as Toad of Toad Hall was widely applauded. Splendid! <laughs> Terribly pleased to meet you! An actor well known for extravagant roles, not least as Doctor Who's Nardole, he brings childlike excitement to the part as one of literature's least reliable automobile enthusiasts. Lucas lavishes Toad with a well-rounded accent and an infinitely impressive manner to bring life to a riverside creature whose heart is in the right place, even if the car he's driving rarely escapes without at least a little damage. Number 7, Jenna Coleman as Queen Victoria. Victoria. That won't be necessary. If there are gaps in my knowledge, I have an excellent tutor in Lord Melbourne. As Clara Oswald, Jenna Coleman travelled with the 11th and 12th Doctors throughout all manner of time periods. I do have a plan. Yeah, so you keep saying, for two days, on a long boat. Well, only because you were looking worried. No, only because you kept saying, I do have a plan. I do have a plan. Away from the TARDIS, she's best associated with one error in particular. Coleman debuted as Queen Victoria in 2016, spearheading one of the year's most popular and acclaimed TV shows. I know that I'm young. And some would say my sex puts me at a disadvantage. She also turned heads with a racy role in the award-winning miniseries Room at the Top, but her ongoing stint as the second longest ruling monarch in British history has cemented her as a household name. From the insides of a Dalek to the head of the British Empire, it's been quite the journey. Number 6, Arthur Darville as Rip Hunter, Legends of Tomorrow. 
You wish to engage in the very sort of manipulation of time that we are sworn to prevent. And yet, if we allow humanity to perish at the hands of evil, then what universe are we custodians of? As Amy Pond's lovable fiancé, Rory, Arthur Darville was one of the main players during Matt Smith's time at the TARDIS helm. How could you be here? I don't know. It's kind of fuzzy. Since then, Darvel has impressed a whole new audience as Reverend Paul Coates in the hard-to-watch West Country Who Done It Broadchurch, and tried his luck across the Atlantic with a spot on the hit US show Legends of Tomorrow. I'm not appealing to you as Time Masters, but as humans. In the DC superhero series, Darvel plays Rip Hunter, whose special power is, wait for it, time travel. There's no disappearing police box to zoom around in this time. But we're sure the Doctor would be very proud regardless. I could have chosen any time in any place. Of all the people who ever lived, I chose you eight. I certainly hope that you won't let me and the world down. Number 5. Matt Smith as Mr. Collins – Pride and Prejudice and Zombies Another who's put on a right royal performance since DW, former Time Lord Matt Smith played a young Prince Philip in The Crown. I signed myself away. Who won the greatest prize on earth? That's certainly what they think. But a role in this adaptation of a Jane Austen parody raises eyebrows even further. Smith is one of an all-star cast in Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, including Lily James, Lena Headey, Charles Dance, and Suki Waterhouse. Oh, no, yeah, why, yes. She is almost as fair as the other one. The movie proved to be a box office bomb, but Smith still puts on a great performance. An alternate history the likes of which Doctor Who is famous for Fans did not see this one coming. Oh, indeed, Lady Catherine. Well, I would like to say how dutifully behaved I think Lady Anne has been this morning. A real credit to the crest, actually. Would you like a scone, dear? Number 4. Karen Gillan as Nebula, the Guardians of the Galaxy After putting in a popular performance as the 11th Doctor's first full-time companion, Karen Gillan made waves within other sci-fi circles with a recurring role in the MCU. Sister! Help us fight Ronan! You know he's crazy! I know you're both crazy. As Nebula, an adopted daughter of Thanos, Gillen was introduced in Guardians of the Galaxy before starring in the sequel, with the actress almost unrecognizable. First of all, she's bald, second of all, she's blue, and she's not exactly well intentioned. Gillen memorably de wigged at the 2013 San Diego Comic Con, proving her commitment to the role and putting her days as Amy Pond firmly behind her. Man. Goodbye. Number 3. David Tennant as Barty Crouch Jr., Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire The Tenth Doctor and one of the show's best-loved incarnations, David Tennant might have found it difficult to shed his hero rep after Series 3, 9 specials, and 5 years in the TARDIS. I don't want to go. But his other roles have included some standout villains, including Jessica Jones' mind-controlling nemesis. He puts in an even crueler cameo as Barty Crouch Jr. in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Hello, Father. As one of Voldemort's most loyal Death Eaters, he cuts a scary, slithering figure hell bent on delivering Harry to his master. And he almost succeeds. Better luck next time, Barty. I'll be welcomed back like a hero. Perhaps. Percy, I've never had much time for heroes. Number 2 Christopher Eccleston as John Lennon. Lennon Naked. After just one season as the Ninth Doctor and the first of the series reboot, Christopher Eccleston somewhat controversially left DW amidst concerns that he'd be typecast. I'm the Doctor, by the way. What's your name? Rose. Nice to meet you, Rose. Run for your life! This role as cultural icon John Lennon is perhaps the most unexpected of all his past parts. Adultery, you're citing, is it? With Yoko. Mr. Lennon. Do you want to know how many other women have adulterated since we got married? No, I don't. Too many to count, girl. A Manchester man playing a Liverpool legend, he charts Lennon's often unpredictable life in the post-Beatles years. He's not the only Time Lord to have played a Beatle, and we might have included Eccleston as Dougal in The League of Gentlemen, but this turn as Lennon seems to epitomise the actor's determination to try different things. We've all contributed ideas. I contributed sandwiches. Brown and white. Before we unveil our top pick, here's a few honourable mentions. Is in a lesbian novel. Exciting. I uh, no, sorry, but don't be disappointed. What's that film that you love? What film? The one about the f 
the hairdresser, the space hairdresser and the cowboy. Do I look like a mug? Have I got a handle? Am I made of china? Am I kept in a cupboard or in a small wooden tree? Hmm? Number one, Billy Piper as Belle, secret diary of a call girl. The first thing you should know about me is that I'm a whore. Another first series star and another who was keen to shake off her Doctor Who persona, Billy Piper stepped out as Belle, a glamorous London call girl, just one year after her dramatic parallel universe separation from David Tennant. <laughs> Belle, real name Hannah Baxter, loves her job as a high-class prostitute, and judging by her continuous rotation of clients, she's pretty good at it. With raunchy sex scenes, racy dialogue, and frequently flirty fourth wall breaks, what would the doctor say? Well, Tennant's successor Matt Smith knows more than most. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't normally do this kind of thing. If that doesn't make you question the fabric of our reality, nothing will. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.